What's up, y'all? So the 15.5 part that Travis turned on the lay is now at inspection, getting ready to be sent over to the five axis machine. So we're gonna go ahead and start machining on our fixture. I've got the material held in the shunk pendulum jaws that I recently did a video on. So if you missed that video, I encourage you to go back and check that one out. For the first operation, we're gonna machine a 30 millimeter diameter boss that's going to slip fit into the center locating hole on the DVF 5000's table. Now, since we're programming with tilted work plane and tool center point control, it's not very critical that the fixture is located in the center of the table. What this boss is gonna do is help us quickly locate the fixture every time we use it in the future. After the boss is complete, then we're gonna machine the outside diameter of the part. That way we have a good surface to probe when we flip the part. So let's start making some chips. Now that the first op is complete, I've flipped apart and I've reprobed in order to run the second operation. For this side, we're going to rough the profile and we're going to machine four counterboard holes so we can mount this fixture directly to the table on the five axis. Now we're only going to rough the surfaces that are going to touch the part because I don't want to finish them on this machine, I want to finish them on the five axis. The reason for that is because this bottom surface is going to locate the part on the table. And just in case there's any discrepancies between this side and the first side that we cut, we don't want to have to shim our part when we get to the five axis. So now op two is complete. Now we're ready to take it over to the five axis. So now we have the fixture bolted to the table on the five axis. This slot that I put in the top of the fixture is strictly for indicating for future use. This operation is gonna finish this bottom face and the boss so we can locate datum A and datum B on the part. Then it's gonna machine a bolt pattern on the outside so we can install the Mighty Bot expansion pins and hold on the hole pattern that's in the part as well. I've also added these little cutouts in the fixture. That way we can put our hands up under the part so we can easily slide it down onto the top of the fixture. When you're designing a fixture, you want to use the datums to locate off of if at all possible. That way the datums are fixed and not free to float around. Another thing to consider is the quantity of parts you will be making with the fixture or how frequent you will be using it in the future. If you're running low quantity, then making the fixture out of aluminum or another soft material will be sufficient, but mating features are gonna to start to wear pretty quickly. If you're running production or high quantities, you need to design the fixture for sustainability and go with a more durable material. In some industries, cross-contamination is a big concern, so you may have to make the fixture out of the same material that the parts are made out of. So 
So now we got the fixture complete and our part loaded on and we're ready to start machining on this 15.5. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our free academy in our online store. We'll see y'all next time.